What's up? This is Bo. Welcome to my channel, Barracuda Time. In this channel, I'll be sharing my watch collection experiences and some amazing pieces. If you're also a lover of watches, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram. It's the same name, Barracuda Time. Today, we're going to review the 45mm mass production version of the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms. 1953 is a remarkable year for diving watches. Both Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms and Rolex Submariner were born in that year. Blanc Pond's 50 Fathoms was only a few months earlier, which is now the world's first diving watch. In 2003, Blanc Pond released its 50th anniversary 50 Fathoms which is the first modern 50 Fathoms that Blancpain has ever made. Four years later, the 45mm mass production version of 50 Fathoms was released. In the past 20 years, Blancpain has really expanded its 50 Fathoms family with different dial colors, different sizes, different case materials, and different complication functions. The one we have today is the titanium version of the very original 5015, which was released in 2018. It has the exact same size, bezel, dial, caliber, hands, and strap with the first stainless steel version of the 5015. The main difference are the case material, the weight, and the case back. The watch is located in the very typical Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms outer box. Opening it, you can find a two box type of watch box. This is a standard package for 50 Fathom watches. Underneath, you can find the diver's lockbook, the warranty card, the customer registration form, as well as the watch instructions. Inside the watch box, there's a travel pouch. This pair of strap is the original one, and we're gonna put that aside just for now. Here's the watch. It's 45 mm in diameter and 15.4 mm in thickness. The width between the horns are 23 mm. The horns are being very small, so that the watch looks a lot smaller than 45 mm. On the left, there's a blanc pond sign, and on the right, you can see the crown is much bigger than a lot of other watches. The case is made of titanium, whose density is only 60% of the same size of stainless steel. That makes the watch wear very light and comfortably, which also compensates the large size of the watch. You actually don't feel like you're wearing such a big watch on your wrist. The bezel of the watch is made of a single piece of sapphire covering the numbers of 15, 30, and 45, with 1 minute markers between 0 and 15 and 5 minute markers for the rest of the range. All the numbers and markers are made with Super Luminova. Looking at the history of diving watches, the progression of bezel material has been guided by the development of anti-scratch materials from the early stage acrylic to aluminum to the ceramic and sci-fi are being used nowadays. Now, let's listen to the sound of rotating the bezel. On the dial, the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock are marked with numbers, and the other hours are marked with triangle markers. Above the center, there was a Blanc Pond logo, and below the center, it was 50 fathoms words and 300 meters. There is a date window between 4 and 5 o'clock markers. Overall, 
The dial looks very clean and simple, extremely easy to read. The hands are also pretty thick, with a red touch at the end of the second hand. The dial of the watch is covered by a dome sapphire crystal, which makes the entire surface of the watch a mushroom cap shape. With many numbers and markers made with super luminova both on the dial and on the bezel, this watch looks really good in the dark. The caliber of the watch is Blanc Pont 1315, which was released together with the 50 Fathoms 5015 in 2007. This caliber has three main spiral barrels and 120 hours of power reserve. It is famous for its accuracy and stability. Turning around, the caliber and 18 karat gold rotor could be easily seen through the sapphire crystal in the back. The 18 karat gold rotor covered by the black metal is a perfect representative of a humble personality which is also my favorite part of the watch. Straps of the watch are anchored by a pair of screws, which offers another layer of security. As you can see, now it's in summer, I am having a pair of rubber strap on the watch. And the original strap is kind of easy to get destroyed. And in the summer, after a long time of wearing, it gets some smell. So this is my least favorite part of the watch. Today, I'm wearing my Rolex GMT Pepsi with aluminum bezel. By the way, I'm gonna have a review of this watch as well in the near future. If you are interested, please subscribe to my channel and you will receive notifications when I have that video available. Putting on the 5015, the first impression I have is its light weight. It is even lighter than a lot of smaller watches. And the second impression I have is actually it doesn't look like a 45 millimeter watch. It looks very smaller. It looks fine on my 6.5 inch wrist. Yes. It is still very bulky. So you can wear that perfectly when you're wearing casual, but it is impossible to fit that under the sleeve of a shirt. Overall, this 50 Fathom packed a lot of valuable history and details and offers a comfortable wearing experience. It is absolutely worth the price. However, if you are looking for one watch to fit for all, this piece may not be able to handle two formal situations. Compared with Rolex Submariner, this watch is much more readily available on the market and offers much more details. What do you think about this watch? Do you prefer this one or Rolex Submariner? Please leave your comments down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram, same name, Barracuda Time. In the next video, I will review a Rolex Submariner black dial with date. I will see you next time.